Well, good Tuesday, the 19th, January 19th. How is everybody doing today? I am doing well. How did everyone do yesterday? I did pretty well yesterday. You saw everything that I ate. Did I move? No. Man, I got home kind of late, but I was also busy filming a couple of videos, finishing up one and starting another. So I was having fun doing that. And then I played some Animal Crossing. It's been a while since I've done that. So it's so cute. The island has snow on it and everything else. So I was I was really having a lot of fun with that. I have a sun thingy, there it is. Look at Sasha, I mean, that's Phoebe and Roxanne. Uh, Phoebe is huge, she's not even six months old yet. <sighs> she's a handful, but, um, so let's see, I need to just finish up uh, the video today. We've gotta go grocery shopping for just a few little items today. And it's a beautiful day. There is not a cloud in the sky. Oof, and it feels pretty good. So maybe we can go for a walk. But we we're planning on getting a public sandwich for lunch. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Cause you know, I love them, they're so good. Uh, but no chips, I'm not getting chips today. I'm just gonna eat the sandwich today. And uh, for dinner, um, I think I'm gonna have brick chicken with uh, cream corn. So if the chicken, oh, it's so late. I was on the phone with my brother for a good long bit. It's been a really long time since I talked to him. Um, and I, actually, it's so funny. We must be in the same mindset because I was going to call him today because it has been months since I talked to him, and which is unusual for us. Usually, we talk to each other a lot sooner than that. But, uh, you know, with the, the virus going around, it's kind of, you know, so. But anyway, um, what else is going on? I think that is it for right now. But... I will let you know what I'm gonna have for dinner, I'm not sure. Well, I hope that if you were watching what you eat and if you were wanting to move more, you accomplished everything that you wanted to do. All right, y'all, well, I will talk to you later. I gotta get to the store. Okay, here is my dinner. I made bas basmati rice steamed. Um, we have, this is Hawaiian chicken, and I will put the recipe down below. And then this is just broccoli with some soy sauce on it olive oil and salt, pepper, and garlic. And a little bit of ginger in it as well. So, mmm, we hadn't had the Hawaiian chicken in a very long time, so I'm excited. Well, good Wednesday morning, the 20th of January. How's everyone doing today? How'd everyone do yesterday? I did pretty well. well let's talk about what you just saw though. So, um, I watch another vlogger. Her name is Tara Michelle. She's quite young. She's half my age, literally. And, um, but I really like uh, some of the food. She's actually the reason why I started avocado toast because she made it almost every day and it looked delicious so I tried it and sure enough I liked it. Uh, there are a couple of other things that she makes that I'm like mm, that sounds interesting and so I tried them and sure enough I liked them so I like the uh, some of the food that she eats and recipes and stuff like that and um, also I just you know she gives off a good vibe I really like her she's very positive and upbeat right so um, she had stated at the beginning of the year that she saw it on TikTok. Of course, you know, I'm too old for TikTok, y'all. Uh, I tried TikTok. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. And so, therefore, I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, she saw on TikTok that there's eight things that you should do every morning to uh, make your, you know, wake yourself up better and to be more productive, feel more productive and all that kind of stuff, right? So, uh, she told what they were, and to be honest, I don't remember all of them, but I do uh, know some of them, and some of them I'd already been doing anyway, but I was like, mm, let me give a couple, a little try to just, it's a little bit of self-love, right? It's a little bit of taking just a few minutes out of your day in the morning to focus on you and to uh, just 
start off the day in a good note, right? One of them is to make your bed. Well, I always do that anyway. I mean, like I don't, when I say make my bed, I just pull all the sheets and the comforter up, make it look nice because that's just how I, I make my bed. I don't, you know, I don't have throw pillows and frou-frou stuff on my bed. So I've always done that anyway. So make your bed, drink a glass of water every morning when you get up, which I always do. And uh, so I've already done those two things every morning. Uh, meditate for a minute and this morning um, I did my breathe app on my watch so that's like meditating for a minute you're breathing and you're just you know concentrating on breathing for a minute uh, do some sort of exercise for a minute it said jumping jacks for a minute but I have a bum knee so I can't do that but I did high knee lifts for a minute and then journal for a minute I know I journaled probably longer than a minute because <laughs> I didn't set a timer um, but I usually do that as well. I usually write uh, in my book, in my journal, and I'll just show you the journal that I use. Um, I got a new one. It's pink. This one is the black one that I got last year. It's for six months, so you have to get two in a year, but I really, really like it because, let me show you on pages that I've not filled out. The reason why I like it is because you get pages like this so I can go ahead and plan out my meals over here and my snacks for the the day but I do it on Sunday so I do a whole week um, so I know what I'm eating and what groceries I need to buy it also has a scale here about how you felt about the day what you could do to make it more improved over here you have things that you're grateful for and that's what I filled out this morning um, your positive thoughts that you have and therefore it's making you think positive and getting those negative thoughts out of your head um, what did you do active wise today and any kind of notes so here is where I put my to do stuff that I need to do like videos I need to film or you know other stuff that I have to do and then down here it tells you you know did you uh, get enough Sun that's important right uh, you know vitamin D is very important in your life you got to get some Sun to get that I mean you could take it artificially but uh, just go outside for a few minutes a day and you free right uh, drink the water did you eat well um, did you have fun that's another thing we need to be having fun and joy in our life you know can't be just work or work all the time and did you get enough sleep so uh, those are things that are in here that I really like they do have a and then at the end of the week uh, here's your weekly review so uh, things that you were successful on and wins uh, so like last week I wrote in about how I <laughs> turned away the cupcake because that was a huge huge success for me right uh, what do I need to improve on and every week it's always the same thing and every day basically move more um, and then my insights and lessons like what did I learn about uh, what I ate or what was going on in my life to affect the food right and then over here you have what you want to do in a week uh, like the habit tracker so here where is where I put you know walk or uh, water eat better eat cleanly um, and if you have any notes down here and here you put I don't really use this one because I don't really have like major goals or even any I just want to do this just to make it a habit so I don't I don't really use that um, and then there's also I think I've already filled out most of it but here is the monthlies you know for a full month and so here's where I put all my ideas for my videos and uh, my scheduling of my videos and stuff like that so I can keep up with my uh, video scheduling so I really like that journal I got it off of Amazon it's a little pricey though I think it's like $20 maybe 25 I don't know but I really enjoy it I like it I think it's for me it's worth it um, so that is my journal that I just wrote in let's see what was another thing I think 
Let's see, she said there were eight things, but like I said, I don't really remember all of them. So those are the ones that I've done today. I normally um, meditate in the morning, but it's way longer than a minute because, uh, you know, I do other little spiritual stuff to go along with it. So that's about a 10 minute thing that I do, maybe even longer sometimes, just depending on what I need to do or how I feel like I need to do, you know, so. But anyway, so I think I am gonna incorporate uh, doing that, especially, because usually I write in my journal at night. So I think it's a nice little thing to do it in the morning. Why not try it today, see how I liked it. Um, you can never go wrong with taking a breath every morning, right? And exercising just a little. A minute is almost nothing, right? So, um, yesterday was a very good day. Uh, Amanda and I did end up going to Publix and we got a sub sandwich and uh, you know we split a full one so uh, so I ate a half of a turkey one uh, she did get a uh, potato chip she got the jalapeno kettled these right here they're on this table actually that's what she got I ate a couple just to see what they taste like they're pretty good but I didn't overdo it on it um, I ate literally maybe four so I felt good about that and then after we ate we did go for a walk because we uh, it was kind of like a little picnic lunch we got the sandwich and then we went uh, to our little square and we ate outside on a picnic table and had a little uh, picnic lunch went for a walk it was over a mile long walk uh, so for 25 minutes so that was pretty good we did pretty good pace I was very surprised at that and then we went grocery shopping um, so yeah we went for a walk it was really nice it was a very beautiful day out yesterday when we started it was very sunny like our lunch it was sunny it was very nice but then by the end of our walk it started the cloud started rolling in and it started to get cold again i was like i'm so glad we're near the end of our walk right now um and then it just stayed cloudy and bleh. but the sun is out looks like it's out today but it's cold again today so i don't think i'll be going for a walk today uh, you saw what I ate for dinner. It was so good, y'all. I will put the recipe to the Hawaiian chicken down in the description if you want it. It's so easy, uh, especially the way that I do it. I kind of modified this recipe before. I think they wanted like chicken thigh meat or something. I don't know. I don't like thigh meat. And so I, so I use breast and you have to marinate it and then you make a sauce. I don't know. It was just all way complicated too long. So I just really modified it to make it just really simple and easy and it was really good. I guess because we hadn't had it in a really, really long time. It's been a few years since I made it. and um, But it was really good and uh, very healthy. So we had that for dinner and yeah, we, I think I've eaten wise and been doing really, really well. So I'm really, really happy um, with myself with that. So I'm not sure about lunch. Dinner tonight, uh, Amanda's making dinner tonight. She's gonna be making tacos, cause Barry loves tacos. So she's gonna be making tacos, but she's also gonna be making quesadilla with the taco meat inside it. So excited about that. And the meat that I do get, we do get ground beef, but I either get ground sirloin um, if I can find it, cause it is way, you know, it's the, if you're gonna eat red meat, that's the healthiest that you can eat is sirloin. Um, so I do, if I can find it, I try to get the ground sirloin. If I can't find it, which Kroger sometimes doesn't have it, but they do have the grass fed, um, no hormones, uh, all of that kind of beef. And that is what I get from them when, uh, we get beef from there. So it's at least healthier than, you know, most hamburger that you can get so I'm excited about it I think it's gonna be good and uh, she wants me to make the guacamole which I will do because I love the guacamole so and I'll teach her how to do it so she'll know how to make it next time so um but yes today working on my D&D &D campaign got that get that going for me and Barry and uh do the watercolor challenge so I'll be going live today I don't know when but it will happen so yeah, that's about it for right now. Uh, I ranted for a little bit. I'm probably gonna edit a lot of that out. Oh, the old lady, old lady game. Oof. 
All right, y'all. Well, I hope y'all had a great day yesterday. If you're watching what you eat, if you're trying to move more, I hope you got all of that accomplished. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you later on. I'll show you what we eat on lunch. All right, bye. Lunch for the day, it is the mushroom ravioli with the Alfredo sauce that I make with um, almond milk, with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter, and basil, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to eat. It is late, look, 3.13. So, I am very hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I hope you saw me on my live cast today. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.